The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was Joseph's intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. Mary will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ikalabing siyam na araw ng ating uh, pagdiriwang ng novenaryo, iling misa, at yung ibanghel yung binasa po natin, ang ending, yung mga katagang, God is with us. I could not find a better ending words that would end ang nobenaryo po natin other than yung mga kadagang ito. God is with us. <clears throat> Kung matatapos yung nobenaryo, ito yung napakagandang ma-realize, marinig natin yung mga katagang ang Diyos ay sumasa atin. Uh, yung mga patuloy na sumusubaybay, nakikisa sa kanilang mga bahay, online masses, sa live stream, alam ko sinundan nyo, nakibahagi po kayo sa mga misa, ang mga huling kataga, God is with us. If there is something na sana tumimo sa atin, or that reminded us once again, lalong-lalo na yung mga medyo nawawala na ng pag-asa is a reminder that God is with us. It's a consolation and it's not just a consolation but this is an assurance to us that whatever we are going through, God is with us. Pero mga kapatid, tao tayo and as human beings, we always look for something concrete for an evidence, for something that we can see, for something that we can hear, that actually God is with us. Nagahanap rin tayo ng makikita, maririnig, mararamdaman, mapapanindigan na yung Diyos nga natin ay kasama natin dito sa pinagdaraanan natin. Kaya we, we always try to look around. We always try to see. We always try to hear. From the news, we look for something good. The newspapers, we try to read and find doon, doon sa newspaper ang good news. Sapagat nito mga nakaraang araw, nakaraang linggo, nakaraang buwan, puro na lang patungkol sa COVID ang ating naririnig at nababasa. At ito pa yung paano i-portray Araw-araw na lang naririn, nababasa natin kung ilan ang tinatamaan. Of course, meron ding mga gumagaling, pero mas malaki ang letra ng mga tinatamaan. 
Mas malaki ang letra ng mga namamatay. Of course, meron ding, mga kakaunt- meron ding mga mabuting balita, pero maliliit lang. At mas marami yung balita na ma- makikita natin na napulitika ay yung bak- vaccine, yung mga walang tiwala sa bakuna. And the, the more that you read the news, the more na nakaka-depress. We always try to look for something good. Our eyes, our hearts, our mind are wired to look for something that will be at home with what our hearts are beating for. And that is something good. Kaya nga nakaka-depress, kung marami akong kaibigan na sasabi, nagsasabi na I don't listen to the radio anymore, I rarely read the newspaper anymore because everywhere I look, it's bad news. It's normal because we are human beings and we are looking for good stories. We are looking for something that is concretely showing to us that indeed God is with us. And just to be very honest with you, aka isang taon na rin, ang hirap kayang tumayo, tumayo dito sa pulpit na ito na halos araw-araw, linggo-linggo, trying to tell the people that things will be okay. Eventually, people are asking, when will it be okay? Trying to tell them that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel, Father naman, ang haba naman ng tunnel na ito. Kailan ba talaga matatapos ito? And yet, we do not stop. We continue to assure one another that indeed, God is with us. Kaya nga naman, kapag ka merong mabuting balita, magandang balita, na nababasa tayo, we consume it. Sinusundan natin, and we are amazed at that good story. Because it's not simply a feel-good story. It's not simply a feel-good story, but it's actually a manifestation na ang Diyos indeed ay sumasa atin. Indeed, God is with us. When we see goodness, not simply in the words of each other, but actually working, moving in concrete, hala, hindi mo kailangang ipaliwanag. God is with us. Dear friends, Alam ko na alam nyo yung kwento nung pinag-uusapan ng bayan ngayon, yung community pantry. Pati nga rin po kami nakigaya. No? Inaamin naman po namin, nakigaya kami. Something na maganda and worth emulating. We do that not because of anything else. But it tells us about something that is at the core of every human being. The goodness that is in each, in every one of us. Hakita nyo, it's a counter-narrative na yung lahat ay nagkukumahog, makakuha ng baksina at naguunahan sa mga ayuda at naguunahan sa maraming Bagay, inuuna yung sarili. And yet here, sa isang kanto, ang ganda pa ng pangalan, ano? maginhawa. <clears throat> Ginhawa ang natatanggap natin. It's a good news. And it is a good news that comes from the goodness of a human being. It's not saying something that it is a Catholic or a Protestant or a Muslim. Nope. Tao, Pilipino, at nasa kaibuturan ng kanyang puso na simply to share and simply to depend on each other. No words are needed to explain that. Sharing is, some, is a verb. It's an action word. When you put it out there, you don't need even to describe it. It happens. Sabi nga ng mga kabataan ngayon, ano yung ganap? Yan yung ganap. God 
is with us. Kaya nga, siguro yung 30 minutes kong pag-uhomily ngayon, huwag ko kayo magalala, hindi ko ubusin yung 30 minutes. No? Nung ahaban ng sasabihin ko, pag nakita nyo lang yung nangyayari doon sa mga ganoong sitwasyon sa community pantry, no preaching is necessary because it is something that is concretely manifest. God is with us. Mantakin na lang kapag sinabi ng Diyos, darating ako dyan, in words only, I will sacrifice for you, in words only, I will die for you, in words only, I will resurrect for you, in words only. It doesn't make sense. But when we see the Lord sacrificing, dying, and then rising, then no words would be sufficient to explain it and even to preach it. Konkreto, sa mga ba sa bahay po ninyo, inanay, hindi kailangan sabihin na mahal ninyo ang pamilya ninyo sa pang-araw-araw na paggising, pagluto, paglaba, paghanda, walang mga salita ang sasapat sa pang-araw-araw na ginagawa ninyong konkreto. We see, we feel. And that is why we know that God is with us. We don't stop doing good works because this is the concrete way, the most concrete way that we are assured of the last few words of the gospel, God is with us. Kaya nga po, nakakalungkot na kapag merong humihinto na mga nagiging balakid doon sa pagawa ng isang konkretong magandang bagay, nakakalungkot. And we call that in our Christian and our Catholic tradition as the work of the devil, the work of the evil one. The work of the devil, the work of the evil one is to prevent the preaching of the good news. Dear friends, we end the numenario with the words, God is with us. We also end it with a challenge of how we can show this God with us in a more palpable, in a more concrete way to each and every one of us, especially to the least, to the last, and then to the lost.